Hello and welcome back to episode 60 of Take to the Skies, St Albans FC. And we are still going strong in our second season in League 2. And of course, if you did miss yesterday's video, it was a finale of Unknown to World Known. So go and check that out for a summary of that save. And tomorrow, we are going to have episode 1 of F121 Breaking Point Story Mode. So do check that out as well. But let's get into the St. Albans save. So, since you were last with us, we have had a mostly strong run. We did start off with a loss to Bolton, who were bottom of the table at the time. We bounced back with a 3-2 win against Carlisle with Devani getting a hat-trick, then beat Stevenage 1-0, and we had a surprising result against Oxford, winning on penalties, when we rotated quite a bit because it was the EFL trophy. We we're actually close to topping the group now. We then had a 2-1 win against York, before we drew Bromley, which was a disappointing result. I seem to remember they were bottom of the league as well, yep. Yeah. Then we lost to Cambridge in a bit of a shock result, but bounced back. 2-0 win against Chesterfield. Then we lost 2-1 to Scunthorpe in a game we utterly dominated and they just hit us on the break twice. And on the second one, unfortunately, we gave away a penalty. And then most recently, we got a win against Cheltenham, 2-1. What that means is going into the Colchester game, we can go back to the top of the league. We're two points behind crew at the moment, but a game in hand. So we are looking very good to be in a title and promotion battle this year. And then we also have FA Cup first round against Swindon Town, who are in League One. We've beaten League One opposition twice so far this year, so we might be able to get something out of that. And both of them are above Swindon Town, so we, we've got a tough game, but I think we can actually find our way through it. But let's see if we can go back to the top of the table first. And the lineup for the game against Colchester, we've got Kennedy in goal, a back three of Quinn, Phillips, York, Laird at right wing back, Jones at left wing back, Torrey and Smith in midfield, Cotterill on the right, Mafurin on the left, and Nisingi as the striker. I do wish I could figure out why the lineup's displaying like that. But let's get into the game. Rowan. Four St. Albans here. Jones throws it to Mafurin. Back to Smith on the edge of the area. Cross goes in. Cotterill's header goes just over the bar. We've got a free kick for Colchester here. It's gone to Liddell, who's headed into the net. But he's gone too early. And it is ruled out for offside. I mean, he's never really come back onside. He's done this weird thing where they stand offside but doesn't come back. And at half-time, it's remained nil-nil. We've had a slight edge, but we're not hitting the target enough, which is a little bit frustrating. Let's tell Nisingi we're not happy with his finishing. Hopefully in the second half he'll sort it out. And 65 minutes gone, remote. going to make our first changes. Mafurin's going to come off for O'Rourke. And we're going to bring Cotterill off for Wilson as well, changing the two that are supporting Nisingi the most. And I think soon we might bring Pring on if we need to as well. But we'll leave it at just those ones for now. And we've got a throw in deep in Colchester's half. Jones finds O'Rourke with it. Cross goes in. Nasinga's in there and Nasinga's headed just wide. Nearly found that bottom corner. And with 10 minutes to go, we're going to send Pring on at full Smith in the hopes he can make the difference at the end of this game. But unfortunately, not able to do so. We've had 10 shots in that game. Not one of them's on target. So, very questionable attacking there. And a little bit of a disappointing result. But let's head into the FA Cup now. See if we can improve and find our shooting boots. Hopefully, with Devani. <laughs> and the lineup going into the game in the FA Cup. We've got Kennedy in goal again. A back three now of Quinn, Rosette and Milovanovic. Laird at right wing back, Jones at left wing back. Morris and Pring in the middle. 
Cotterill on the right, Buffoon on the left, and Devani up front. It's fixed the lineup there for some reason. Couldn't tell you why. Let's see if we can find our way into the second round of the FA Cup. Highlight straight from kickoff here is Cooper plays it out to Kake. Kamara back to Kake and inside to Solanu. And he goes over the top. Milivanovic heads it away. Mafurin heads it infield to Devani who picks it up. He goes back to Mafurin who cuts inside. Cuts inside again and it's a poor shot in the end. Corner for Swindon. It's gone to the far post. Jones head is it but Kennedy does very well just to hold that. And he goes long towards Mafurin. A very nice pass. He tries to find Devani, but it's intercepted by Cooper. And then other day he's got it, plays the ball through behind to McDonald. One of one with Kennedy, who makes another good save. And the first half has come out as a draw here at Clarence Park. It's been a decent first half for us. Yes, they've had more chances, but they are a league above us, so you would expect them to be edging the game. But they aren't edging the scoreline. So that's all that matters for us. Let's see if we can nick a goal in the second half on the counter attack. And come away with a win. We're going to send the Singy on for Cotterill as well at half time. In hopes that he can have a better impact than Cotterill who's not really got into any of the games he's played this season. And we're going to make our second change. We're going to bring Pring off because he's... Struggling with an injury. In fact, we're going to send Morgan on for him instead of uh, Smith. And we're going to bring Laird off for Theo Williams as well. Because he's not got into this game at, at all at the moment. Free kick for Swindon Twine. Sends it in. Cooper's headed it on and found the top corner. And Swindon now lead 1-0, unfortunately. And... It was always a tough draw for us, but hopefully if we go at attacking, we can find something in this last 15 minutes or so. And unfortunately, it's not to be. We come away with a 1-0 loss at home to Swindon Town. Again, I'm not too unhappy with that result because, yeah, they are a League One team. So it was always going to be a tough game. And in one aspect... It does mean that we can put all our focus in on the league and the EFL trophy, which are far more realistic trophies for us to win. But on the flip side, it would have been nice to be able to get to the third round, draw one of the Premier League teams and make a bit of money. But it is what it is. And we'll uh, go back and see where we come back on Friday. And I think what we'll do is we'll come back at the end of the year for Northampton and Harrogate Town. So then um, we can come back again after the January transfer window, see if we've had any business there. We have got £60,000 in our budget, so I, I don't expect to spend anything really, I'll be honest. Mostly just looking at free transfers. But our balance is starting to dip a little bit at the moment, so hopefully we can get that going back up soon. Maybe that game against Swindon will have given us a little bit of a boost. But also, fans are going to be coming to see a team that's in a title fight. So, we should have uh, some money making coming in. We still need our ground capacity increasing to meet League 2 regulations. I don't know what happens if we don't. And that does concern me a little bit. But... Nevertheless, we're having a de we're having a good season at the moment, and we'll be back. Oh, they're, they're unhappy that we failed that, but understand it was a difficult draw. That's fine by me then. If you have enjoyed that, please do leave a like down below. Comment your prediction for the rest of the season. Do you think we will get promoted? Should we go all out on the EFL trophy to try and get another trophy in our club's cabinet? Let me know what you think. Subscribe if you are enjoying the FM content and if you're looking forward to F1 2021 content. Don't forget, first episode of Breaking Point out tomorrow. I'm hoping to have my team out at some point 
in the next few days as well. Thank you very much for watching.